Hey, what's up guys? Steve from Cult of Mac here, and today I thought I'd give you a little tour of what's in my travel bag. What I take with me to uh, film and edit with when I'm on the move. So, let's get started. Well, at the time this video is being uploaded, I'm currently traveling over to Spain for a week's holiday, or sorry, vacation. Uh, but that doesn't mean I'm not going to be creating any videos while I'm out there. So, this is the travel bag that I am taking with me. The Lowepro Fastpack 250. The guys over at Lowepro are good enough to send this over for me to review. So, whilst I'm out there, I'm going to be doing a full video review of this baby. But, just from having it for a couple of days and trying it out and testing it out for this video, I am super impressed at how much you can fit in with everything being secured. So, you've got like a camera compartment down here. I've got pockets for my laptop and my iPad on the side and everything's secure, everything's safe, and it's not too overloaded. So if we look on the side, I've got this Manfrotto Compact, I don't even know what it's called, the Manfrotto Compact MKC3. Now this is pretty much just for uh, photography because it hasn't got a fluid head on it. The reason I'm packing this is because it's the smallest one I have at the moment and it folds up super small. And then with the amount of adjustments, I can get this to, to extend quite large. So let's start on the camera side, on the front. So under these two clips. So this feature I really love as I can get straight into the, bag, the backpack and get access to my cameras and my lenses super quick. So the camera of choice here is the Sony A7. That's what I film all my videos on uh, for the channel. I'm currently using a older NEX5. So if there's a dip in quality, that's why. Um, I absolutely love this camera. I want to upgrade to the A7S II just so I've got that low light performance and 4K recording. In terms of lenses, I've only got the two for this camera at the moment. I have got a super cheap 50mm prime lens straight from eBay. Uh, it's made for the Canon EOS mount and I've just got a little adapter on there so that's what gets all the nice bokeh and the, the close-ups and things like that. Then I've also got the stock lens for the NEX that came with it which is the 28 to 70 mil. Um, I normally just use this for photography and any kind of wide shots that I want. Tucked away in the back I have got plenty of chargers and batteries for the A7. In the back I have got my little lavalier mic. So this is the Rode Smart Lav Plus I used to use for all the videos. It just plugs straight into my iPhone and I record onto the Rode app. It's not the best sound quality, but if I do decide to film some stuff outside whilst on holiday, this will be super handy. Also then, I have got a little SD card book, so I've got plenty of storage for while I'm away. Because uh, I'm only taking my MacBook Pro, which doesn't have the largest hard drive. Up here in the top of the bag, it's got some uh, spaces for SD cards. Obviously, I've already got that book to keep them all safe. So I am using this for USB stick holders. So I have got the iStick, which I can plug into my laptop to store movies and music and things like that. And then I can plug it straight into my iPhone or iPad. So I've got films on the plane for my daughter. So also in here, I have got the GoPro Hero, just the bog standard one because I don't really use it all that often. So it made more sense to get the cheaper one and I could spend my hard end <laughs> and I could spend my hard end cash somewhere else, like on the Sony A7. So if we just zip this section back up. Also got another little pocket on top here, which is really handy. In here I have got the Cobra Jump Pack. Um, I did a full review on this a couple of weeks ago. It's a battery pack that can charge your iPhone 6S. I think it was four times. Um, I might be wrong there. I've got a full video review. I'll make sure to leave that in the description down below. But it's a brilliant power bank or battery pack, whatever you'd like to call it, um, that can also jumpstart your car. So there is things I've missed out on here, such as uh, battery chargers from the MacBook and my iPhone and things like that, purely because I'm still using them. So then at the top pocket here, I have got a Joby Gorillapod, just because I don't know where I'll be filming, what it's going to be like, whether I could fit a tripod somewhere, if I'm going to film on a balcony. Um, so this is great. It can bend and move into different positions and wrap around uh, poles or door frames or anything like that you can get a grip on and it's super secure it's from Joby uh, I'm gonna do a full review of this next week you can get iPhone variants as well so if you want to mount your iPhone on here you can I've just got the standard DSLR mount because this should be able to take the weight of the Sony a7 no problem also in here I have got my new favorite mic of choice you may have seen it in the room tour if you saw that last week this is the Rode NT USB um, I absolutely love this microphone, it's brilliant for my voiceovers, so that's why it's coming with me. Because uh, I plan to do a couple videos while I'm out there, not sure how many, so if the videos do dip in the week. That is why um, I've tried to film a couple in advance, but I've still got to edit them while I'm out there. So that is for my voiceovers, and then it's also got the pop shield. So all of this kind of comes apart and screws together, just so it's easy for transport. 
And then in here, I've also got my WD Passport. It's not gonna help me get through the airport any quicker, but this is my two terabyte hard drive that I use for pretty much everything. So all of my Colton Mac footage goes on here, along with anything else that I shoot. And then I've got some headphones in here. I'm actually on the lookout for some new headphones because I'm not a particular fan of these. These are the MDR XB250. Reason I bought these is because my old favorite headphones, can't remember the name of them right now, another pair of Sony headphones, they actually started to fall apart while I was on holiday in Florida. And I saw these at a really low price and picked them up on the off chance. And they're pretty awful, to be honest. So if you've got any recommendations for headphones you think I should pick up or try out, let me know in the comments down below and I'll take a look. Uh, also in here, I have got Apple's famous ear pods. Uh, everyone seems to hate on these, but I absolutely love them. I find them really comfortable and I've got plenty of them from all the iPhones I've bought in the past still in the box. So they are super handy to have. So just showing you this bag really quickly, it's got tons of padding and support as it is quite heavy with all of my kit in it. The straps are really comfortable. It's got padding on the back, so there's nothing digging into your back whilst traveling. Uh, in the side, I've got my MacBook Pro, which has got this cover-up skins on at the moment. Um, I absolutely love this skin. I'm not a massive fan of MacBook cases because a lot of them tend to add quite a lot of bulk. I'm not too fussed if the underside gets a bit scratched, but the top I do want to try and keep safe. So I've got this maple wood skin that matches really nicely to my uh, Grove made desk stand, monitor stand, sorry. So yeah, it's just something to match up with all that. And it's a really nice sticker. This is from Cover Ups. Um, I'll leave a link to this in the description down below if you're interested. Also in the side pocket, I uh, don't know if you can see on camera, but you've got room for a laptop and then also an iPad. So I am taking with me my iPad Pro. Um, I've not got a case for this yet. I need to pick one up. I've just not had the time to even look at one. But I love this iPad. I'll be using this by the swimming pool to reply to comments and write future videos and plan videos. Um, and probably try and read a book of some sort while I'm away. So yep, that's it guys. That's everything I'm taking in my travel bag. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, go ahead and hit that like button down below. And don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss a single video from Cult of Mac. I'll catch you in the next one.